the video about to see is me getting the eight, uh, Petra Tools HD 4000 with the cart. This is the one that you can put on a cart and you pull it around. HD uh, with cart. Nice battery operated backpack sprayer. This might be a little long, popping on Instagram. Let's open that up. I'm just gonna pull out stuff that's in the box real quick. Alright, first thing I see is I personally tested your sprue 22 point inspection right there. Alright, you can scan me to register your thing right here. Let me set that to the side. Set box. You got this right here. Don't know what's in it yet. I'm gonna pull out some of this stuff. Got this Petra 2 bag right here. I think it got some goodies in there. All kinds of stuff in there. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll get to that. Straps. thingy right here. Ooh. Got this cart. I, I don't know if it's permanently attached. I don't think it is. I think you can take it on and off. Right. I think that's the handle. And got this piece right here. So guys, when you do get this, it's gonna come with this little bag right here. All right, in that bag, it's gonna be this book. All right, and make sure you register your product, but it's gonna tell you all these goodies came with it, and I'm gonna show you real quick. All right, you got the plumber's tape right here. All right, and you get your uh, wand connect right there. You get this, which is a uh, orange cone nozzle right here. You get the double head um, nozzle, uh, double head mist nozzle, all right. You get that right there. Single head nozzle, you get this, my favorite. The fan tip nozzle. You get this. I think this is a uh, angled black neck nozzle. Uh, fine mist and it adjusts. All right. And you get, you should get one of these, but I got two of them. A brass nozzle. Same thing, fine mist. I think you can adjust it also. And you get, not sure what this is, but I think it's for. They have to clean out the holes, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken, if they clog up or something like that. Get the battery charger. It takes anywhere from six to eight hours to charge this. So when you first charge it fully, don't just get it out there in the streets and you don't have it on the charger for an hour. You gotta, you gotta charge this thing up. Six to eight hours to charge, all right? And a whole bag of little washers and other stuff. I think that's a fuse right there. Awesome. Alright guys, another thing too. You see this plumber's tape? Alright, everywhere you see what well, needs to be screwed on, I personally suggest that you put this on here to help prevent leaks. Like a product that comes to you with stuff like this that you don't have to spend additionally because um, this thing actually costs a little money. And um, I put it on I put the on everything. Look. Everywhere where you got to tighten it up, put some plumber's tape on. I already put some on there, so I got that kind of screwed on there. So guys, when you get your your Petra 2 4000 or any of them, really, you see this right here, this is gonna come on here. 
Now, I want to tell you this. They tested this, right? So when you get this, it may be a little water or it may be wet right there because they actually tested this. The inside is not going to be <clears throat> filled with water, but this is going to be on here. Take it off. You see, I already got some plumber's tape on here, and this is where you connect your holes. And they have the little butterfly or wing nut that you can just screw on there. And screw it on that tight, but don't don't try to break it, man. But just make sure it's tight on that. And that plumber's tape is going to prevent leaks, so make sure you do this before put the plumber's tape on there just to make sure so tighten it up as tight as mine can go all right now this blue part is coming from the tank itself this is your trigger this is your wand you notice i got the plumber's tape on all of it all right even took that off and put plumber's tape on it one thing I will say is make sure those little green gaskets may be hard to see are in all these places where they're supposed to be before you tighten it up. Hopefully you can see that. And make sure that you don't have any plumber's tape hanging over in there because it could break off and clog your holes. But guys, simply just screw that piece on like that. All right. And when you get it tight, Oh, don't break it, guys. I always say that, but just make sure it's tight in there. Same way with your wand, you just screw it on like that. All right, guys, let me, I'm gonna show you this too. Up under here, all right, it comes with the little filter, you know, to prevent stuff from getting in there. Look, well built, look like a little basket those um, hard sides and stuff on it. I like that right there. You can see what it looks like down in there. All right, put that back in there. Now this side, it comes with a measuring cup, all right? Now this is cool, but the only downfall is this is not in US ounces. This is in milliliters. So what I would do is, I'm gonna sit this right here. I would get a permanent marker and find out what these conversions are. It's kind of hard to see them, but it's like milliliters and stuff like that. I think that's 160. I'm not sure what that is. 150 or 160 milliliters. I will find out what the conversion is on that and then take a, a, a marker and mark it on that. If you plan on using this cup right here, make sure the seal is on here correct. So when you put it on here, I'll put this on here, and you tighten it back up that it won't leak when you lean forward, side to side, stuff like that. All right. All right, guys. And you remember this piece I showed you right here? If you look at the back of it, you can see where that side is closed. Right there. All right. This side is kind of open. It's slotted to fit right here. Make sure the opening goes up here. Don't put it on down here it will slide off put it up here so the closing is up top push it down you may have a little clip that's for your holes all right this side right here if i'm not mistaken that clicks for the one part now you see how you had this little blue part dangling doesn't say so in the main i don't think so but i actually push the holes in there and it'll hold the holes like that so i'll let you see it a little bit better but that's kind of how that goes right there. That little piece right there, like I said, click it in. One side is for your one, one side is for the holes. All right, I got one side of the straps hooked up. All right, I'm gonna show you how the other side goes real quick. <clears throat> now, you, you, it comes with a, uh, a bottom to hook up, no breastplate, but I'll show you the bottom in a minute. But you see this right here? If you look, I can't really show you some teeth right there. All right. So when we run this up under this, this slot, I'll show you this too for you guys who couldn't really see that me doing this part with the belt. All right. My finger is the piece that is, is, is going to be this piece right here, this little plastic piece. That's going to be my finger right there. All right. Check this out. 
it's going to go up under that plastic piece like this all right so when you loop it back over the top of it you're going to go up under here you're going to go up under here all right and then you're going to go in here and pull it tight and that's what's going to keep it from coming loose i'm doing it like this so you can actually see it i want to show you these straps i like that picture tool design but you got one for that side, one for this side. They don't have a chest plate, but they do have the little buckle at the bottom. I ain't gonna put this on. I'm a bigger, so I don't know if the bottom actually fit, but those will fit you just fine. And let me show you how to hook that up. All right, right. I wanna show you this, guys. I know this video kind of bootleg is me <laughs> doing it. And it's filming the ver vertical format, guys, because that's the way to go. If you're watching this on your device, guys, just push that little square over there in the corner and it'll get bigger. But this part right here, all right, you see that? Loops in here. All you do is simply push it down like that. Hook it in from the side. Then turn it that way. Hold on. All right, see how I got that? Kind of push it over. But that's how that goes right there. That way, you can take it on and off whenever. I want to show you this. It's where you plug it up at. That actually closes like that. But you got to pull it open to plug it up. We'll get to that later. On the side, you got two dials here. This dial, and that's not actually a dial. That's where a fuse go. All right, let me unscrew this. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that right there? That's where a fuse goes in here. All right, just screw that back in. And it comes with an extra fuse just in case that one blows. But this dial right here is to turn the pressure up. When you click it one time, it's going to blow. Turn it all the way up if you want it on high. Now, if you just want it on high, the gold from the get-go see this red button on and off just turn it on and set it max so that's max psi that's adjustable psi click it and make sure it turns off and that's where fuse go that's where you plug it up at all right guys and this is where the battery goes right here you don't charge it from that you got to plug it up on the side i'll show that in a minute click that open and it's one of these old school batteries um not sure why they still go with that but that's the technology they use that strap holds it in all right but that's where the battery go you want to close it make sure you push it tight and make sure it's clicked in okay guys so if you look down in the description of this video i'll leave a link to this HD 4000 with cart on um, Amazon, all right? And I think it's going for like $2.99 or something like that. And depending on when you see this video, the price may change, but that's it right there. And the link will be in the description, so you can go check it out. Not saying you got to buy it, but just go check it out and run through the specs and make sure it's something that might work for you. All right, guys, when you get it, it's going to come like this with this thing screwed on here. I actually screwed this one on here, but this will be screwed onto the here. This pole won't be there. Pole is separate. So let me show you how to attach this to this. It's going to be the same process for the bottom, but I'm going to show you how to do it up top. Check it out. First thing you got to do is unscrew this from here. All right, once you do that, you see the pole? All right, you take this part right here and put it down on the pole like that. All right, now you take the other piece, and if you could look, it's kind of slotted, so it'll stretch out. See that? Put it on top of the pole. All right, push it down on there. And you wanna make sure it's all the way down on there. You wanna make sure all that goes up to that. Take this part and tighten it up as much as you can without stripping it. Three, it's 
but you tighten that up. Okay, now when you screw this, make sure you screw this as tight as you can get it. Same way here, screw it as tight as you can get it. If you put this on here, guys, and it starts to, uh, how can I say it? It starts to uh, move back and forth, like it's not really tight. That means this or this is not as tight as you can get it. I got mine as tight as I can get it, and I have a little wiggle room, but not a lot. So you want to make sure you tighten this up as tight as you can. I've, I've taken it off so you can just see it. See how it kind of it moves real freely, guys. No oil needed for the wheels. Um, those wheels are plastic right here. It's kind of hard plastic. Um, this thing is pretty light. Now, I'm only assuming this is just in case you have more of this hose you want to take. Because since this can become a cart, this may not be long enough for you, the hose right here. So you may be able to get another, I don't I'm not sure. I have to call them and ask them another 10, 15 foot holes on here that you can easily swap out here and wrap around that and take this one off, unscrew that. So you can have further reach since this is gonna be on the cart. Now, like I said, it can come off. You can use it as a backpack sprayer, but the cart is real convenient because if you got four gallons of liquid, it's gonna get heavy. I want to show you this also you see this little knob right here let me see if i can get close that little knob it's one right there if you look up under here you see some notches where that go which is right there all right and then there's another one down here at the bottom right there that's where those notches go right there when you put it on the car now i'll pull back these right here actually screw to the back of your sprayer now, from what I understand, you don't have to do anything. It's already been sealed, but the gold, they screw in that right there. And I'll put this on here so you can see what I'm talking about. So what's about to happen now, I'm gonna put this on here. All right. And hopefully I got them in a little notches that's down at the bottom. And you know, cause it'll click down in there. I'm gonna turn it around so you can see the back. I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it. Now you see right there, this way that screws into the back of it. I'm not even pushing it on there. It's just it's just going in there. Look at that. You tighten that up. All right. Same way on this side. Let me get it so you can see it a bit better. Guys, I would have normally been outside, but cold out there. I'm gonna show it to you in the house. Screw that to it tightens up and it's secure. All right, it's secure on there. And I'll roll this back and forth so you can see it. See that? Now, I think that you can, you can still put the straps on here and hook them on down there. All right, but I didn't do that. So that may be an option. You may have to look into that. When you look at the picture, they don't show the cart with the back straps on it. But I would like to have a strap still on there. Should be easy to do. Let's let's see if we can do that. Okay, guys, I tried to put that on there, but that bottom piece right here is getting in the way. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to take that off if you want to fit on there the correct way. So it is what it is. I have this in the house and I want you to see. I got it plugged up. It turned red and I got it plugged up in the wall. You know, I would not run an extension cord while charging this. Just plug it directly into the wall. And I would not have another outlet right there. I got that one plugged up so the light is shining because I'm doing it in the inside. I'm going to unplug that light one, but put it in the wall by itself. Put it in a safe place um, just in case anything go wrong and let it charge for about six to eight hours but i would not take this outside and charge this in the weather make sure it's in a dry so yeah guys normally i would have did it outside but i want to go ahead and get this video out and i just want to show you how to put the um hd 4000 the petra tools um cart this one is the one with the cart 70 psi multi nozzles variable pressure uh comfortable straps on your your shoulders and the capacity is four gallon but the difference between this one is it comes with 
the cart also. Now, before you run and start trying to return it, if you got any issues, make sure you call that number first. Hopefully you registered your product. Well, go ahead, register your product first. If you have any issues, call that number right there, guys. Now, Petra Tools did send this one out to me for review, but I'm not being paid to make this video. But anytime I use a product and I get excited about it, I want you to know everything about it. I haven't used it yet. I'm, a, I'm about to get out there um, and try to use it on some certain things. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in so I can actually use it. But like I said, guys, if you think this video was helpful, please hit and like. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, all right? And right here is a video that um, Scott actually from Petra Tools did. And it explains it a little more in, well, I don't know about in depth because I went all out. But check out that video also when you click right here.